Hello and welcome back to the shop. Today we are going to be talking about star bond glues. Using them for CA finishes and for knot hole repairs and whatnot in like tabletops or shelves or whatever your project may be. Uh, so star bond reached out to me. I didn't reach out to them. They actually reached out to me and sent me an email and sent me all of their products for free and a link so you guys can save 10% on your purchases. Everything will be linked below, the code will be down there and everything, so go down there, purchase what you need, it's going to save you 10%. Uh, so we're going to talk about the activator, and we have thin, medium, and thick, and we have three of their wood colors for knot hole repairs, crack repairs, whatever the situation may call for. So let's get started on that. So here is everything they sent me. So we have some medium, we got some thick and thin CA finishes. Over here we have the medium thick, the medium and the medium thin wood coloring for, to cover if you have knot holes in your wood and you need to fill that. So we're, that's the first thing we're going to talk about is filling these knot hole cracks. So right out of the box here, uh, the packaging is great for storage, for hanging up or whatever. They actually send you two new lids. Sometimes they get clogged up, they get messed up. Other companies don't do that. So you get two lids so you can change them out when you need to. Then they send you a package of these little tips. I don't know if you can see that. For like fine work. Let's see. So we're going to be going through over the instructions, which are very detailed. And we're going to assemble one. We're going to put it on here. And then we're going to fill up a knot hole. So we're just going to nip the top of this off. Kind of like that. Then I say step two. You're going to slide that over it. Like so. And you're going to nip the top of that to whatever length you need it. That's going to allow you to get in some of these finer areas in here where the voids are at and sand it smooth. Okay, I think we'll actually use this knot hole here. Uh, you can see there's a pretty good void in it. I don't know if I can, there we go, that's focused. So you can see a little void in there. We're actually going to fill that with some brown. I think that'll match the wood grain just a little bit. And we have one over here. We'll put some black in it just to go through some different colors. So here we go. Gonna fill it all the way up. Because remember, it'll sand back off to what you need it to do. Okay, so there we have it. It's all filled in now, nice and smooth. I went through a few grids. Uh, like I say, this is just for demonstration purposes only. Good. And there we go. It looks like it went in there pretty good. Get it to focus. Go. Nice and full, no more holes in it, none of that. I think that'll look good on any shelf, tabletop, whatever whatever project you got to use it on. I think it'll work great. I really like using it. I've used it a lot in the past. Uh, I wouldn't stand by a project 
or product uh, that I don't use. Okay, now we're going to go through the same process with this one. This one here is a lot smaller, so it ain't going to take near. Like I say, this is the black. So it's going to be really dark. This is going to be for something you want to kind of stand out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to spray it with some activator. Always shake your activator just a little bit. Okay, that's going to get hard here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, because it's kind of thick, I always give it a few minutes uh, before I go to sanding, but it shouldn't take more than just two or three minutes, and it'll be ready to go. Uh, sand it off, go through your grits, and get ready for finish. That's all it is. Super easy. So let's get this quick sand, and we'll be right back after I put the after I get ready to put the finish on. Okay, so here we are. We are ready to put some finish on it. Uh, we got it all sanded off. It's all nice and smooth. Need to get. Or dab. This one looks like it might have a little pinhole in it. But when you have that, you just go back, you do it again, you go back through your grits until you get the desired effect out of it. Okay, but you can see here, it does look pretty good. Leaves a nice, you're not going to worry about that knot hole ever coming out of your shelf or tabletop or whatever your project might be. So let's go on, we'll get set up, we'll put a pin blank in the vise and use it for a CA finish on a pin blank. Okay, so here we have a pen blank set up. Uh, this one is a scrap piece. I don't know if you can tell. It's got a pretty good void right here. So it's not going to ever become a pen. But we're going to put some CA finish on it anyway just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to go through five coats of medium CA glue. Then we'll polish this to a shine and make a pen out of it typically. Uh, this is just for demonstration. So I'm going to use medium. You can use thin. If you use thin, you put on more coats. If you use thick, you put on less coats. So I already got my paper towel all tore up. Let me grab the glue and we'll put some finish on this. Lathe doesn't have to be running very fast. Give it a few seconds to air out. You do kind of want to be quick about it. Otherwise, you'll glue your paper towel to your pen blank. Bend down that rubber for it, it ain't no fun. Okay, so there's three. You noticed I went one direction. Now I'm going to do the other two the other direction just to make sure I get a nice even coat. Okay, now I'm going to hit it with just a squirt of activator. Let it run for a few seconds just to make sure that glue's dry. Okay, there we go. As you can see, we've got a pretty nice finish on it. 
I will pull it off so we can get a closer look. We're going nice and shiny, smooth. Okay, if you've made it this far in the video, you must already be familiar with the Starbond product. A lot of you are going to be using it already, so if you want to save 10%, go to the link below. It's going to cut you off 10%. Uh, thanks for watching the, the whole thing. If you like and subscribe and comment and share and all that YouTube stuff, it's greatly appreciated. And it helps more than you think.